Hey Stampers, it's the Pampered Stamper and I am happy to say that I am on time. It is one o'clock and I think I'm ready for you. So I forgot to tell everyone, in case you're new, I'm from Chatham, Ontario, which is about an hour from the border between uh, Canada and the States, which is, you know, unprecedentedly closed right now, except for essential traffic. So I know lots of trucks are going across and people who have to work, they can go across the border, but the rest of us, not happening, which is not so bad because, you know, our dollar is not worth a whole lot right now anyway. So anyway, we're supposed to stay home. So that's why I'm here so that I can give you some diversion while you're staying home. And so what I'm doing is I am trying to show you all the kits that are available in the catalog because kits are a lot of fun. You don't have to think too much. And so today I'm showing you for the Love of Felt project kit. Now I have to admit that yesterday I did feel a little squirrely even for me. Um, I felt totally unprepared and while it all worked out fine in the end, it doesn't always leave me feeling so good about myself. So I thought I would at least get one card made so that I'm not doing this totally blind. So take a look at my finished card. Here it is. And what's nice about it is that if I do a card, then I can tell you a little bit more about what I think about it all. And I'm going to explain a few tips and tricks. So when you get your kit, this was inside the box. This is what the box looks like. There's a card box that comes with it, which is really pretty. And this is the stamp set. It does. This kit does not come with a stamp set. You have to buy it separately. And so sometimes I think, okay, you don't necessarily need the stamp, but I think you really do because it uses, um, this flower gets stamped. Um, let me have a look. This leaf gets stamped. Actually, all the stamps get used. So it's not just, see, if it was just about the sayings, I would say, you know what? You can, um, you can choose set sayings of your own. But I think that the sayings are also very nice. You make an ordinary day special. Um, you know, normally we don't send out a lot of cards just because. We send out cards for birthday and anniversary and sympathy. And that's basically, it'll get well. But now with this COVID thing, we are sending out cards just because. So you could say, so very thankful that you're in my life. So, um, you know, I appreciate you so much more now that I can't see you. Um, yeah. So I think people are realizing that happy mail is a big thing. Hi, Jojo. Nice to see you here. I know more of you guys are watching without saying hello. So I challenge you that if you have watched my videos before but have never let yourself be known, then put a little comment on. It's nice for me and it's nice for everyone else watching. It just builds the sense of community. So please say hello. Tell me where you're from. And um, yeah, I'm going to pick more than one winner this time for a free tutorial. So please share my videos um, and I'm going to up the ante. So I'm going to check if you shared, say that you've shared, okay? Because if you just share, my computer doesn't always tell me, Facebook doesn't always tell me who shared because of your privacy settings, okay? So I can only include you in the draw if you write shared in your comments, okay? All right, so now we've looked at this stamp set long enough, don't you think? All right, so let me show you what comes in it. So I've already separated the cards. So there's three different cards and I find it's easier to put the stuff together so that you're not looking. So when you get a kit, hello Gerard, hello Gertie, so when you get a kit, what you want to do is take everything out first, okay? And then you're going to sort it. So this is the pieces for card number two. And then this, these were the pieces for card number three. And this is the one that I already did. So, so far it looks kind of boring, but just wait till the magic happens. Let's see what else is in the kit. So let's take the box off, the lid off. There are green leaves and there are two different kinds of leaves, okay? So there's the long ones and there's the short ones, okay? And we'll look at those later. There's also these pear pizzazz open leaves. And nice to see you from Boston, Brenda. I've never been to Boston, Massachusetts. But, oh, here's some more green leaves. There's some yellow flowers. There's a thing of linen, but you can see I, I got a little too excited taking it off, and now it's a mess. Okay, but that's okay. We can work with it. Anyone else have this happen to their linen thread? Okay, it comes with sequins, and they are in two different sizes. These ones are slightly bigger, so that's important. Then, this is the fun part. This kit is called For the Love of Felt. 
Now let's take a look here. They are super cute. Now the thing is, when you're using felt, you want to use your Tombow adhesive. Okay, mine's a little icky, but it works. Okay, I'm just gonna put that aside. Then there are these little blue flowers, and I'm gonna hold it up close. This is the good side, and this is the bad side. See, it's all kind of, there's lots of strings all bunched up. Okay, thanks Jenny. Oh, that's so nice. I'm glad that you are making cards to mail out, Gertie. That's awesome. So there we go. So we have three different types of felt flowers. So we're going to move that out of the way. Now, let me look. Inside here, the brochure, there are pictures of each card. But this is the part that's annoying. There's little numbers with little arrows that tell you what to do. And that is... That's why it's nicer to watch a video sometimes. I'm just trying to open this properly. And then here, it tells you um, what those numbers mean. Stamp and Calypso Coral, Stamp and Shaded Spruce, blah, blah, blah. Adhere using the Tombow, adhere using dimensionals. Now, when they say dimensionals, I'm wondering if that's a mistake because they're asking you to adhere sequence with dimensionals. I would say use glue dots. Um, tells you how much um, linen thread to use and it tells you what, what adhesive. Okay, so, but this is great. So before I started, I got out my ink pads. Calypso Coral, Shaded Spruce, Staffordyl Delight, Sahara Sand, and Pear Pizzazz. Got my adhesives ready, and so now we're set to go. Got some blocks out, and, oh, I put this away. We have to decide which card to make. I thought we would make this one. Let's find a bigger picture of it. Okay, so here we go. And it is the one with the little stripes going across. Here we go. All right. Now this one has nothing on it. It's just a plain white piece. Some of the other pieces have, see this one had, oh, I think I'm using the wrong one. Hmm. All right. See, that's why it's really important to look. If I look back here, I'm seeing it has that green leaf and I don't have a stamp that looks like that. So that's, this piece goes on there. Okay. Good thing I'm, you guys are helping me along here. Um, let's go back to the other card. Okay, yes, this is the plain white piece, and you can see the little white along the edge here. That's this. See, it's kind of like putting a puzzle together. I'm not very good at puzzles. So even though it's a kit, there's still a little bit of puzzling to do before you get started. So don't be like me. Don't be a squirrel, and kind of figure it out before you get started. So we'll take one of these, and now I have to get back to my sample. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is st stamp the saying at the bottom. Okay, and there isn't actually a number one there, so they're making it easy. Number one, you're going to stamp this in Calypso Coral. And because it's a saying, I want to use my Stamparatus um, just because I want it nice and dark. I should, I've got to clean that first. I'm going to get ink on my fingers. He already did. So take my chamois. I had a stamp on here from the card I just made. So clean it off and then take it off your Stamparatus. Because if you get squirrely like me and do it without taking the ink off you're going to get inky fingers and then your inky fingers are going to go on your card and then you're going to get growly so i think this one said let's make an ordinary day special i already trimmed my um stamp a little bit because i see and so the words got cut off but that's because i didn't put my sticker on straight so that happens sometimes and so this is going to go like so and in the middle and let's see how that looks. Then I turn my Stamparatus upside down and I'm trying to eyeball it with the lines to see if it's straight. And yeah, there is grid paper. You could take extra time and stamp and make sure it's all perfect, but I, um, I don't have the patience for that. You know, there is a limit. There is a limit. Sorry, the notifications on my... Um, computer are kind of loud but I'm not going to turn them down so it's all good I'm inking up in Calypso Coral give it a nice press oh that looks great it doesn't even need a second inking but I did do it quite straight so I'm pretty happy about that okay so here we go and now we're going to take the leaf stamp and it tells me to stamp it in shaded spruce so here we go how are you guys all doing 
Um, yeah, oh, I'm so glad when you guys answer each other. That's wonderful. Together we are a tribe. Yes, it is from the annual catalog. So squeeze it, lift up, slide it back. Okay, now tap, tap, tap. You can always look to make sure you've got good ink coverage. And it's going to go on either side. One, two, three, four, five. Look at that. That's nice. And then you could use your stamparatus for this too if you really want it perfect. I mean, if you've got time, and most of us have more time these days. Um, it's not too late to sign up for the Coffee and a Card subscription. Um, I'm pretty excited about that. And thank you to um, Sophie for suggesting it. Okay, oh, one other thing I need to stamp. I'm going to use this big block here and this stamp here. And this one is supposed to be stamped in Sahara sand. So I did not trim this one down, but I will because it's kind of a big edge right along there that I don't like. See, it's going to get ink on it. I don't like that at all. All right, I'm going to use this as a show and tell. I'm going to show you. I'm going to clean this off. And I'm going to show you how I trim my stamps. So Stampin' Up! used to sell these craft and rubber scissors. They don't anymore. So if you have some, that's great. If not, see, I just... You're supposed to use fairly straight cuts. So there we go. It's getting a little tricky in this little skinny part. But... There. So I you, you can tell that I did not I did not go in the curve here because that will compromise this part is too skinny. But you have to do straight cuts. So I'm just going in like so and there. And now I don't have that chance of getting ink where I don't want it to go. Okay. Let's do it again. All right. And then this is going to go up like so. Yeah, that looks good. Now we are going to, we need a yellow flower, Daffodil Delight. And I want to see if, yeah, that's good. And it's going to go, it's kind of, you have to eyeball it a little bit. Fairly, every card is going to be different and that's okay. And now I think all that we have to add is the die cut. Here, I've added the die I've just done the die cuts with a glue dot as soon as I find my glue dots. You know, I start off with a fairly clean section around me and then things start building up. Okay, there we go. And this one's going to go close to the end here because I have to leave room for a blue flower. Okay, so now the blue flower is going to get popped out. And the way to adhere this is with Tombow. So I'm going to just put a little puddle. Oh, I think I did that wrong. Oh, well, it's okay. I'm going to change mine up a little bit. And then just lay that on there. There, give it a little push and we're good to go. Now I need a green leaf. I'll take one of those. I'm just going to put a glue dot right on the tip here, like so. If you are a demonstrator and you are watching, um, I have a demo training group, which is absolutely wonderful. I do Facebook Lives there, and we've also started Zoom meetings so that we can all see each other. It's only $5 a month, and you know if you have questions about how I run my business, that's the place to do it, because I don't have time to answer personal emails from people. I love to share what I know. I have no problem doing that. But this group was born of the fact that I just don't have enough hours in a day to answer everybody's questions. So if you want to join, shoot me a message. I'll send you the link to the group. Okay? We have a lot of fun. But more importantly, we really learn a lot. Um, I've been doing this for 14 years, so I've picked up a thing or two along the way. Look at that. How cute is that? And then... All we need to do is add sequins. And they say it with a glue dot, but what I do is I just put a little dot of Tombow. So one here, little. When I mean little, I mean little. So just a gentle little squeeze. Now, 
you could use your pick me up tool, but I've told you that I am not so good with um, that one tip that picks things up. There's a little blue gunk that comes out. And for me, um, I, I don't know if it's because I'm not patient enough, but too much came out. So I use my pick me up tool for everything but that. I just do this the hard way. And that's okay. It works sometimes. Oh, now it's stuck on my finger. Tweezers work too. But I have heard many good things about the pick-me-up tool. And I sold mine. Um, someone needed one, so I gave mine away for a good price. And I'm going to order another one. And I'm going to try it again with that gunky end. See how I do. Okay, so that is done. And I should have actually... I should have... Oh, we need a, a bow. I should have put this on the card first, but I didn't. So I'm going to show you what to do when that happens. Okay, every mistake I make is a teaching opportunity. And this was not a good thing to do. So um, unraveling things is not my forte. I don't like it. Ever, you know, when you get a necklace and it gets stuck, sometimes that happens. I will leave it sometimes laying for quite a long while till I have the patience to do it because I have broken necklaces trying to untangle them. And I think, oh, here we go. Oh, good, good, good. All right, I don't cut this off. I make a loop like so and then pull the little end and now we're good to go. I have lost my ribbon scissors again. Rachel says I she hears me say this multiple times a day and she's probably right. But that is the way it is. Shove the bow on the glue dot and then you can use a pokey tool to pick it up. Oops. And this is some vintage thing I've had from who knows where. I do have a proper Stampin' Up! one. And then that's just going to go here. All right. Actually, I know what I'm going to do. I want to pop this up on the card, so that's my solution. So just lay it down gently. And then four poppers, one dimensionals. Okay. We do speak a whole other language with Stampin' Up! for all the stuff that we use. I'll put one in the middle just for fun. Okay. You could add more. It's up to you. Depends how rich you're feeling with your um, dimensionals, right? I mean, I oops, one I just lost a felt flower. I will put it on again. Okay. I think that when you grow up with parents who went through the war, you definitely learn how to be frugal. I can't remember. Oh, yeah, I did. Okay, so this is just going to go on here. And this is actually, you know what, I'm surprised at how much I love this kit. I thought the felt would be finicky or ugly, but it is a fantastic, bright, happy kit. And I think someone who gets this card in the mail is going to be so happy. How cute is that? So yes, I'm saying two thumbs up for this card kit. Um, I'm debating whether or not to show you another one. I think that you've kind of got the idea of it, but why not? I have one extra kit that I bought, but not an extra stamp set. But if anybody local wants this kit, um, you can have it for um, the cost in the catalog. So no shipping and tax, but you have to pick it up from my porch. Okay. All right, we'll do this one. Why not? I'm feeling, I, I realized this morning that it's Good Friday tomorrow which means I really should not do a video. I'm going to, I'm not gonna do a video tomorrow, so I'll make this one a little bit longer because even though we can't get out, it's still a day that I want to spend with Rachel and I want to spend it differently than normal, okay? I'm gonna watch a, a live sermon in the morning and you know what? I shouldn't be working and I'm not going to. So that's that, glad we made that decision. Um, we're going to start with putting the, the let's celebrate on the bottom here and we're going to stamp that in shaded spruce okay I love this kit I really really do okay that looks like it's pretty straight on there okay there let's see how it looks thanks for sharing Anne Marie Oh, yeah, that looks great. Okay, awesome. Um, yeah, I'm going to give it one more one more layer of color. It didn't move, so... 
Oh yeah, see how nice that is? Do you notice? Oops, it's perfect. And without the Stamparatus, I couldn't have done that. Okay, I'm a huge fan of the Stamparatus. I use it all the time and much to my shame, when it first came out, I thought, oh, that, that tool is only for people who struggle with stamping, but no. It is a tool that stays on my table and I hardly ever put it away. That's how often I use it. I use it every day, every day. And then on the few times that I don't, I regret it. I think, oh, why did I, why did I not do that? Okay, so now we're going to use this. I need to clean it because I need it in pear pizzazz. So you can take the chamois out of the case and just use it like this. Um, all right, pear pizzazz, where are you? Here we go. Okay. So what are you doing to make Good Friday special, people? This leaf is just going to go off the side. And now I'm building a bouquet. So you have to just kind of play. We're going to have some leaves going this way and that. Then we're going to add a few of these greenery things. Blue Dot is your best friend. Here we go. Um, I think I'm going to make cinnamon buns um, because we usually do that for holidays. My raisin buns turned out very well, in case you're wondering, but I thought that they were a little, the dough was a little heavy, um, but that didn't stop me from eating many, many, many of them. Um, yeah, and I, I chose not to soak the raisins, so I think I will give it another go. I used all-purpose flour because I didn't have any bread flour. I think that also made a difference. Um, yeah, I will definitely, they were definitely very, very good. I think I'm going to do another, I'm, I'm going to do another green one going down. Um, it was, it was fun. I kneaded the bread dough. I did it by hand, and I had to knead it for 15 minutes. And you know what? It felt good. It's very contemplative when you're kneading the dough. And I thought, well, it's a good workout for my arms too. But you know, I have my mother's arms and she made a lot of bread. And even with working out, I still have those, you know, when you put your arms up and the chicken wing flap. And you know what? That's okay. I'm owning it. That's all right. The kids love that part of my arm. And the grandkids will too. In church, they used to rub my arms because that skin on the back of your arms is really soft. So think about the part of your body that you hate the most and then think of something good about it. And if you think about that good thing, then maybe you will learn to like that part of your body a little bit more. Because I always feel sorry for the part that we don't like because I think it senses it. I know I'm talking nonsense, but, um, you know, this COVID thing when you're alone a lot. There. And now we're going to do the greenery going the other way. And blue dot. Where did it go? Here we go. Um, I went out this morning. I got up and the sun was shining. And I so I got into my, my spring bucket of clothes. And I thought, you know what? I'm putting capris on. Of course, when you get out your spring clothes, there's always a little trepidation because you're worried if they're going to fit. Well, they fit. So I was so pleased. Um, I, um, I put on capris and a, and a white hoodie that's very light, lightweight. And um, then I went outside. <laughs> it was so cold. I had to go back in and um, put a rain jacket on. And that was kind of funny, but it still felt good. And I dropped off 25 cards to the nursing home. And you, there's a rack in the foyer that you can just leave them. And then they leave them sit there for a little while and then they bring them in. I'm sure they have some protocol and I left some card kits for, I know there's a few people in there that like to make cards. Okay. So now we're going to do the yellow things. And, but I was, I felt still felt bad because I only had 25 cards, but when you write a handwritten note in 25 cards, that takes a long time. Okay. We're going to do some dimensionals on these. Um, but I just thought there's no point. You can't just send a blank card or a card with a, a stamp in it. I, I thought it needs to know that these people need a personal touch to know that someone was actually thinking of them. Um, so if you have cards you, and you live in town, you can just drop them off yourself or you can drop them off to me and I'll add mine to it again. Okay, so there we go. Now, I think I'm gonna try a dimensional on the, the felt thing. I don't know if it'll work, but it'll work for now. I will let you know if it falls off or not. 
here we go, a pink one. Pretty. And now a peachy one. It's looking good, isn't it? Oh, you know what I forgot to do? I was supposed to stamp the Sahara sand um, swirly thing, and I didn't, but that's okay. No one else knows that. You do now, but you're going to just, yeah, it doesn't matter. Okay, we'll put a dimensional on that one too. And I figure the worst thing that can happen is if these felt things fall off after a while, then someone else can use them to make a card to give to someone else. It's looking good. But do you see what I did? I made the same mistake and I did not put this on the card yet. It's okay. Now we're going to do a blue one and I will use Tombow for that. And one more blue one. Here we go. It's looking nice, isn't it? It got super windy here and then we got hail. So, all right, I'm going to be smart. I think I'm going to try and we're going to put it on this card. Maybe I'll do it. I'll do it flat because if this is already so layered up that we're going to do it flat. And so the way we do that, I'm going to use Tombow. That way there's no pressure. I'm just going to drizzle some Tombow on there and flip it over. And there we go. That looks good. What else do we need? We need the blue flowers. Okay, let's have a look. See. I'm going to put one here, and I'm going to put one here. And you can like you can follow the the picture of the card as an example, but you can do whatever you want. It's your card, okay? How pretty is that? I don't think it needs any linen thread either, um, but you can do that if you like. But what do you think, people? Um, adding Tombow to the dimensionals will help hold the flowers on. That's right, Ruby. If they fall off, then I will definitely add a bit of Tombow to that. Um, I really, really like this. So that's three of the cards made. Um, I'm, I'm a fan. Two, two thumbs up from this kit. I didn't even add sequins to this. Um, we could do that. Sure we can. Why not? Let's do that for a minute. Um, one there. I have this obsession with odd numbers, and one here, and maybe one there. Okay, I'm seeing some hearts. Way to go. Yeah, I, I really like it. I'm glad that, um, I just thought, you know, I have nothing to lose. I want to show all the kits in the catalog. Um, it's a great thing to, um, to give to somebody. So if you're giving this to somebody, you will need to add the stamp set and a block and some ink spots. What you can do, instead of buying big ink pads, you can buy our uninked spots, and I'd have to get the catalog to see how much they are. How cute is that? Okay, I'm gonna grab the catalog so I can tell you. All right, here I am. Let's have a look. The kits are right at the back. Let's see, here it is. So for the Love of Felt project kit, it's $41, and the stamp set is $27, okay? It does show you what you all need to make this if you, um, if you want to do it at home. But um, yeah, people are, yeah, this would be a great kit. It doesn't take a whole lot of expertise. Um, it's like putting a puzzle together, and a lot of old people are very good at putting puzzles together, and this is something, um, what's really nice about it is that you get the joy of creating, and then you get the joy of sending to someone, and then you get the joy of when that person gets your card, they will call you and say thank you. So see how much interaction and all the levels of, of, of joy that there are when you're making cards? And then afterwards, you can even save the box and put a few cards in there and give it as a gift to someone. You can put it on the porch. So you could even do some cards yourself and then kit the rest up and give it to a friend. Um, now, I was going to also show you the uninked spots. I'm just looking for it. Oh, yeah, here's the take your pick tool. Just a minute. Right there. So you can see what's all included. It's quite handy. Yep. Yeah. And now the ink spots. Um, yeah. 
I think I'm getting close. Well, it's not here yet. Oh yeah, there they are. Things sometimes hide in our catalog. Uninked Stampin' Spots, $12.25 for a pack of five. So then you can just get your re-inkers and you could ink them all up and you could give, then you'd have the five colors to go with that stamp set, with that um, kit. Okay, guys, the other kits that are there, I've shown a few of them already. Um, the Looking Up card kit, I still have mini kits on the, on the porch for $15. I think I have a few mini kits of that one and of this one. And of the um, this Lots of Happy kit, I actually have three full kits available if you want one. Okay? This is a, they're all great kits. I love every single one of them. Stampin' Up! has really rocked their kits this year. So if you have any questions, let me know. Remember, the best deal still, even though it's not celebration anymore, is the starter kit. You can put these kits, you can get all the kits in the starter kit. Maybe I should write that up for you. And um, you can do it that way as well. So there's the cards. Thank you so much for joining me today. Um, I do hear from people who I get a card to, but I also, you know, I, I've given out a lot of cards to my neighbors and I've only, only one person messaged me back of all the people. And I sent out about 80 cards and they were in groups of three or four. So at least I'd say 25 houses got cards and nobody messaged me, but that's okay. Um, you know, we don't always just do it for getting back, but it is really nice. I think that gratitude is something that um, is a, a learned behavior. If you've never been taught it, then it's not always on people's radar. And also, people are super stressed right now. So, yeah, cut them a little slack. Okay, the joy is also in the doing. All right, guys, thank you. Have a super day. Um, it's so nice to interact with you here. And, um, yeah, I hope that you have a good Easter weekend. I will not be live again until Monday. Okay, talk to you later. Bye.